This reward pathway is releasing dopamine at a rate of about three or four times per second. It's kind of firing at a low level. If suddenly you get excited about something, you anticipate something, not receive an award, but you get excited in an anticipatory way, then the rate of firing, the rate of activity in this reward pathway suddenly increases to like 30 or 40 times. And it has the effect of creating a sense of action or desire to move in the direction of the thing that you're craving. In fact, it's fair to say that dopamine is responsible for wanting and for craving. And that's distinctly different from the way that you hear it talked about normally, which is that it's involved in pleasure. So yes, dopamine is released in response to sex. It's released in response to food. It's released in response to a lot of things, but it's mostly released in anticipation and craving for a particular thing. It has the effect of narrowing our focus for the thing that we crave. And that thing could be as simple as a cup of coffee. It could be as important as a big board meeting. It could be a big final exam. It could be the person that we're excited to meet or see. Dopamine doesn't care about what you're craving, it just releases at a particular rate. 